Monique Selden Riley, and I'm your student trustee here at STIC. And I wanted to tell you guys that during this final season, it's going to be great to reward yourself with frequent breaks. And your self-care should really be about you, not your kids, not your, your parents, not your family members, not your friends. Self-care should be about you. So do something that you like to do that is special for you. Hi, my name is Becky Lasky, and I'm the student body president here at STIC. My study tip for you guys is to dedicate one to two hours a day on your studies. This prevents procrastination, which can really overwhelm you. When it comes to self-care, spend some time a week doing something you love to do, whether that be spending time with friends and family or just watching Netflix. Hi everyone, my name is Mina Bergeron. I'm vice president of SJ, and I would like to share a study tip that I use my own. I like to work in a quiet area, whether it's a quiet room and there's really a disturbance, or I go to the library, or even better, at home when everyone's asleep, I tend to work. I'm more focused and more productive at doing so. One of my self-care tips would be I listen to music. I feel like it recharges me. I feel much better. And I also enjoy painting. I hope you guys get to enjoy one of the tips I share and use them. Bye-bye now. Hi everyone, my name is Krista Pacheco and I am STIX Campus Activity Board Chair. I'd like to share some tips with you, first being a study tip and that is to give yourself enough time to study and try to find a quiet space that will allow you to focus. Second being a self-care tip and that is to know the difference between self-care and self-soothing. Self-care is something that will benefit your overall health. Try to find ways uh, such as meditating, eating healthy, saying no to others. Remember, self-care is not for others, it is for yourself. Find and work with a trusted and dedicated classmate peer as you get ready for these assessments. What is an exam, a quiz, or something like you write in the term paper. Have the ideas that you're working on. Bounce back and forth with each other. You're not taking the exam together. You can't take the quiz together. You're not, you're not going to write the paper for that person. But it's great to have a peer review as you go about getting ready for what you think you know. They'll let you know if you really know it. Best wishes.